So in today's War Thunder video, we're actually going to go over something pretty interesting, which has changed for War Thunder, which is NVIDIA DLSS 4 is actually enabled for the game, but you have to know how to enable it. And to be quite honest with you, my performance gains that I've gotten from using DLSS 4, I can actually run ray tracing full like ray tracing with War Thunder at around 150 to 180 FPS, depending on just what is going on. So honestly, it's pretty heavily increased the amount of stuff that you can do with it. And to be honest with you, I used to be a hater of DLSS, but I have actually like started to like it whenever i've been playing the game as of right now so the thing about nvidia is, is that you have to have a nvidia card so if you're on amd or you're on a, a video card which is pre 20 series you basically cannot do this but anything above 20 series so if you have a 2080 if you have a 3060 if you have a 4060 or something like that this will apply to you dlss 4 is not limited only to the 50 series of cards which has been a probably probably a big thing that a lot of people have actually got confused about because the only thing that is limited to the 50 series is multi-frame generation that is literally it if you're on a 40 series you still have your frame generation if you're on a 3060 you still have dlss you still have all these features and they just improved upon them which makes it a little bit better so all you gotta do is you download this in the video app i'll have a link in the comments and a description for this you download it and then you go install your drivers you should be on this driver right here which is 572.5 16 if this is in the future and you're watching this and gaijin themselves haven't fixed this and also one thing i do want to point out you should not be able to get banned for this this is literally just going through the nvidia stuff itself to actually change something so it's not like modifying files it's literally just going through the nvidia app and if they ban people for this that would be, be just crazy uh but at the same time all you have to do is once you have that installed you have your new driver installed and if you already have an nvidia app i have heard from some people that you may have to reinstall the app completely to get the store stuff to work but you go down to graphics right here, you find the game that you want to do, and you can do this for multiple games that support DLSS. You go to War Thunder, you scroll down down here, and then all you have to do is do this one, DLSS override model presets, which this one, which it should be on this at the top right here, it should be news to 3D application settings, which this one down to latest. And then once you hit accept, it should do pretty well, and then you should be all right. But another thing that I have done actually is that you can go through all these presets and you can kind of figure out which one does the best for you. For me, at least, I've just been better off doing preset J and I hit accept, and then it should do pretty well. You can do this for basically any game that you want to play. For example, if you go to Fallout 76 and go down here, it says unsupported, which means that you can't do it in. I believe Fortnite itself also is not supported. But if you go to a game like Path of Exile 2, as you can see right here, you can actually switch it over get in there as well. Escape from Tarkov, exactly the same way. And so far, at least for me, testing it with different games and like War Thunder, for example, I even testing that with Cyberpunk. I'll probably even put some like footage of just Cyberpunk of how I've maxed up the game with ray tracing and path tracing. And I'm actually at a playable frame rate, which to me at least I never experienced before at all. Even though in Cyberpunk I'm using the frame generation, it just feels incredible that that's even happened. So for this for War Thunder, let's get on to the game and then I'll show you kind of what has changed about it and what to do whenever it comes to DLSS settings. But yeah, let's get on to the game itself. Okay, one thing before we go back to the game though is go back to this setting as well. And if you want to actually change another thing, change this to DLA and do 100%, hit apply. And then it should look even better whenever it comes to actually the DLSS stuff. I did forget about that, but now we do have it. So, all right, since this is a YouTube video, I am going to a little bit exaggerate it here. So this is actually on the previous drivers that you rolled them back. So I can actually show you what happens with this. But we're, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to ultra performance just so we can see it like insane. And the hanger itself, I don't know how much it's going to translate into the actual YouTube video. But if you notice right here, my tank itself is like shimmering and it's also like like the 50 cal look at the little antennas i don't know if like you can see this at all but at the same time look at it like shimmering and everything this is why i did not like dlss whenever it came to previous war thunder then also a huge thing that i also didn't like it about is that it made tracers bigger so whenever you're shooting aircraft and stuff like that it was basically kind of hard to actually see them actually hit them because your tracer themselves was actually bigger as you can see right there look at like how huge those tracers are compared to like an actual like like you're shooting at the same time like hang on we can actually like do this uh we'll go down here we'll turn it back on to tsr which is what i used to use this is my default whenever it, back to uh whenever it came to war thunder i mean like look at this look at how small those tracers are now you can clearly see where they're going to be like hitting and everything like that which was a huge difference and if we go out of this and we'll go back into the hangar we can actually look at this and you can see right there we'll go back to the type 16 it's not shaking and shimmering. I mean, it's doing it a little bit, like I can see it right there on the antennas, but it's not doing it as bad as DLSS was. And even if you go down here to DLSS 
and let's put this back on and then we go to like a balance um, i'm not okay so we're back and i don't really know exactly how much you can see but i can definitely see some shimmering whenever it comes to the top of the tank itself let's also take this to clear again then we'll show the tracers once again because it's it's like even on the balance setting and also the quality setting i would notice it guys i might need to really restart the game because it switches things too much but i just noticed it so much that the tracers themselves will appear bigger than they would normally would because with the DLSS on the old version it was trained with AI so it's completely different than frame generation or anything like that it's just that you're upscaling it so like for example the game could be rendering itself in like ultra like like performance mode at like 480p and it's upscaling it to 1440p which definitely if it's a game that is like not like the same it's not like a call of duty or something like that it definitely could have some hiccuping and even in like games like cyberpunk it also had that hiccuping as well so this is the old version of it. You also need DirectX uh, 12 right here, so make sure to have that on. But as you can see, the actual stuff is actually not great. So yeah, let's like actually exit the game and then we will go look at the other one and see if it is a little bit better. This is the old version, just mind you this. This is free going to the new drivers and everything like that. All right, so now we're back into the game and I kind of want you to guess what preset I am on whenever it comes to the LSS. As you can see right here, there's a little bit of shimmering. I'm not really exactly sure how much you can see it on the YouTube video itself because of compression and everything like that. But I mean, as you can see right now, I don't really see much at all whenever it comes to this preset. And you're probably thinking this is probably like quality. Maybe it's like balanced, but no, you're, you're going to be surprised. This is ultra performance. This is ultra performance. And that's how much of a difference this 4.0 has made when it comes to actually making this sort of playable. I mean, like, I, I mean, I got to think about it, right? Like if you're on something like a 2060 or you're on something like a 3060, you're having issues of running the game at max and everything. This is going to be like a huge help. And even if you're someone who wants to run the game itself uh, with ray tracing and everything, this will also be a huge help as well, which I think just basically helps everyone even with like lower GPUs and everything. I mean, like we can look at stuff in a distance me at least it kind of just looks the same like i've been playing war thunder for a long time the me at least is just quite, quite crazy i mean we'll shoot the 50 cows up in the sky right quick i mean i don't really notice a difference anymore whenever it comes to this and just a reminder that this is this is what's it called this is ultra performance so technically if you're getting enough fps you could probably put it up to like quality and let's just see kind of just how it looks i mean to me at least i don't think many people are going to be able to like spot a difference at all when it comes to this also i'm recording so the frame rates themselves are going to be a little bit skewed uh towards that sort of thing but i mean this is just crazy like straight up this is just crazy to me that like the dlss stuff was useless i hated it for a very very long time and now i mean i feel like i'm going to start running it to be quite honest with you i mean like i do feel like though uh if i actually go off of dlss and i go back to tsr which is what i normally ran before and we do native I do feel like the frame rates, at least to me, are a little bit higher. Uh, so yeah, we're like 214, 215, uh, but it looks a little bit blurrier to me, like on the enemy tanks compared to DLSS, which I think uh, quite, quite is just to me, at least insane. I'm actually almost like speechless about this sort of thing, even in like ultra performance, man. That is just crazy. Like it looks this good. Like on the TSR, I was seeing the bridge right there. It was kind of like shimmering and with the OSS so far, I mean, like, it's it's good. Like, like, I don't really know what else to say about it, and I highly recommend enabling it if you have anything over a 20 series GP for NVIDIA. So yeah, what do you guys think? I really want people to enable this. I really want people to try it out, because even though I'm making this video, right, I don't know the exact settings, which are just great, and honestly, I have a pretty beefy computer to begin with, so to me at least, it doesn't impact me as much, but I really do want to see a lot of other people be able to play the game on higher frame rates higher fps good old quality settings like maxing the game out like this is max on the game we have maximal settings and everything which makes this game pretty playable yeah let's see how everyone does make sure to actually help other people out whenever it comes to this like everyone's computer is going to be different maybe other people's computer acts differently and if you do have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments and i'll make sure to try my best to answer them so everyone has a wonderful day we'll see you guys in the next war thunder video